Hi hey guys, this is my little riding mower, a little Craftsman T110. I use this up around the house because the wife's got so much uh, landscaping up here that my, my big mower, it, it tears the yard because I have to turn so quickly because it's got ag tires on it. So I just experienced a few days ago a unique failure mechanism on this. That's never happened to me in all my years of mowing. So, here's the deal. I uh, went to get the mower. First thing I always do is check how much gas is in it. Now you notice this gas tank is above the engine, higher than the engine. So, uh, there was no gas there. It was empty. And I said, whoa, that's not possible. So I start looking around for leaks, looking everywhere. Didn't really see anything. And just on a whim, I pulled out the oil stick, and as soon as I opened this hole, I could smell gas. The oil stick was completely clean, and it smelled of gas. So I said, okay, here comes the gas. It's going into the carburetor. Now, how can it get inside the engine? Well, I went out and dug uh, up this, the, uh, the schematics of this engine off the Internet. <clears throat> and this little widget here, you see with the two little wires going to it? This is a auto shut off the solenoid so what happens here when no power is on so the key is off there's a plunger here that goes up through the carburetor float and goes into a hole and stops gasoline from getting into the carburetor when you turn on the key it applies the voltage some current runs through here and it pulls the plunger down so gasoline can get, get in here well, on this mower, which is it's not very old, I think it's not even two years old, the, <laughs> the plunger stuck open. So since it was open, all of this gasoline, because it's gravity fed and it's above the engine, comes in and goes into the engine and fills up the entire engine of gasoline. So I had to... Okay, I got sidetracked. Where was I? Oh, so the plunger stuck open and all of the the fuel that was in the tank drained into the tank so <laughs> it was a it was a real mess so i got on the internet i ordered a new shut off the solenoid uh, i drained the tank out through the oil drain hole put new oil in it and it all works now it works fine anyway if you have this style mower or have a mower who has this auto shut off the solenoid uh and you come out someday and there's no gas in your tank you know what happened i hope it helps somebody i'll see you later